Did you know that Jesus Christ was invented? The hidden truth that most people don't know. Did you know that the beginning of Christianity was around the year 40 CE? Along with the church's admission of the Cornelius family, a Roman centurion from Caesar, as described in the book of Acts chapter 10. Later, the non-Jewish members of the mixed Greek-Jewish church in Antioch showed up. Contrary to the Holy Scriptures reading in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 22, the salvation is for the tribe of Judah or to the Hebrew nation. And did you know that Jesus Christ was invented by the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD? It is the new name adopted by Seraphis Christus, the son god of the Greco-Egyptian and the Roman Empire during the 3rd century BC. And it that explains why nowadays Christians celebrate the birthday of Serapis Christus on December 25th, but not for the true Messiah. Because the name of the true Messiah is written in the Palu Hebrew, and he speaks to Moses in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verse 15. He says, Say to the Israelites, the Yahweh, the Almighty Father of your ancestor, the Almighty Father of Abraham, the Almighty Father of Isaac, and the Almighty Father of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, the name you shall call me from generation to generation. And also, in the book of John, chapter 5, verse 43, Messiah said, I have come in my Father's name, and you do not accept me. But if someone else come in his own name, you will accept him. It is quite evident that the Messiah will be called by his Father's name. That the Father introduced to Moses according to the Holy Scriptures. And now, the question is, how Seraphis became Jesus in the Bible? The Greek god Seraphis became Jesus in the Bible after Emperor Constantine declared Christianity the official religion of the Roman Empire. The official Roman declaration asserting the Seraphis was Jesus in the Bible were made during various ecclesiastical council during the Byzantine era of the Roman Empire. This Ecclesiastes Council, which declared that the Seraphis was Jesus in the Bible, were healed at Nicaea of 325 AD. It was at this Ecclesiastes boards that official Christians' doctrine, declaring that the Greek god Seraphis is the Jesus Christ of the Bible, was created and spread throughout the Roman Empire as official church doctrine. And did you know that the birth of the Hebrew Messiah is celebrated during the Feast of Tabernacle? This is the accordance to the book of John chapter 1 verse 14. He was born during the Feast of Tabernacle on the 15th day of the 7th month. And did you know that the Mitraism, the cult religion of the Roman Empire, which worshipped Mitra or Sol Invictus, the sun god, was absorbed by Christianity. Because of this, Christians continued to sign the cross and observe Christmas and other pagan holidays today. Why is it so? Because the ultimate goal before of Emperor Constantine being the first Roman Emperor to baptize as Christian is to win the battle against ideas and not through the might of his armies to easily rule over Christians and influence them with paganism to expand his power being the ruler of the Roman Empire. You heard it right, until now, the goal has been for Western nations to govern the world and establish a new world order. 
You can now seek out the Idik of Milan, knowing that religion was established in order to rule and conquer the world rather than to save it. The Almighty Creator teaches us to observe His laws and directives, as well as to enter into a covenant with Him not to create religion as it is clearly written in the book of Matthew 5, 17 to 18, that the Messiah did not come to abolish the law or the prophets, but to fulfill them. For as long as heaven and earth banish, not a dot or a smallest letter should disappear until all is accomplished. Masayang bati mga operyan, this is Kuya Norch. Kung nais ninyong maunawaan ang aming mga inilalahad, maaari lamang bisitahin at mag-subscribe dito sa Operyan Heritage Conservatory Channel at pumunta po dito sa playlist. Ayan, pumunta po tayo dito sa playlist at hanapin po natin ang dagay upang maunawaan ang aming mga video yung inilalabas dito sa Notch E Channel. Panoorin nyo muna ang dagay video para sa mga series na magkakasunod-sunod upang maunawaan ang aming mga inilalahad dito sa Aquarian Heritage Conservatory at Notch E Channel. So ayun po mga kapatid na Aquarian, tara na, samahan nyo kami dito sa ating panibagong ilalahad ng mga katotohanan. Tandaan, ang katotohanan ang magpapalaya sa atin. Tara! Ah uh -huh.